Hi, my name is Leslie Newman. I am the author of 57 books for adults and children, the newest one being a novel called The Reluctant Daughter. The Reluctant Daughter is about a lesbian in her early mid 40s. Her name is Lydia Pinkowitz and she seems to have it all. She's very happily coupled with the woman of her dreams. She's a women's studies professor. She's got a great community of friends. The only thing missing in her life is a loving relationship with her mother. They're very estranged. And so she's a big feminist. So, you know, she has a really hard time with this. And uh, I'm going to read a little excerpt from the book. What has happened is that Lydia and her partner Allie have gone to visit Lydia's parents. It's been the usual disaster and she has decided that's it. I can't take it. I'm not going to have any contact with them. And of course, when you decide that, something always happens. So here we go. Pavlog's dog has nothing over our telephone. Talk about a conditioned response. The minute Allie or I even think about having sex, the damn thing knows and starts to ring. And tonight, with the street noises outside our bedroom window muted by a thick covering of January snow, it sounds even louder than usual, almost like a scream. Allie detaches her lips from one of her favorite parts of my body with a groan. Just ignore it, I whisper, pretending I don't have one ear cocked toward the answering machine. Okay. Allie happily goes back to what she was doing, but at the sound of my father's voice, so familiar and yet so strange and unexpected, we both sit up and strain to listen. I am out of bed in a heartbeat, my bare feet padding across the cold wood bedroom floor. Stark naked, I hurry through the living room and into the kitchen, but before I can snatch up the phone, I trip over Mishmash, who appears out of nowhere and inserts himself between my feet, mewling for a snack. Mish! I scold him as I catch myself on the kitchen counter and hear the last few words my father utters before he hangs up. Allie is two steps behind me, carrying our nerdy matching terry cloth slippers and robes. What did she want, she asks. I don't know. I press the rewind button as Allie picks up Mishmash. The three of us huddle in the dark kitchen, listening. Lydia, it's, uh, it's Dad. My father's voice sounds tired as he falters. I'm calling to tell you that your mother is fine. What? Allie asks, confused. Why would he call to tell you that your mother is fine? Hush. I quiet Allie and rewind the tape. I'm trying to listen. To tell you that your mother is fine, my father says again. The doctors here say everything is fine and she's going to be fine so there's nothing to worry about. I'll call you tomorrow. Then there is a pause. Okay, my father says quietly, more to himself than to me. And then he hangs up. Now what would you say the strongest theme is across your life? children's books, young adults? My strongest theme is the idea that you, meaning the reader, are okay no matter who you are. If you're gay, if you're straight, if you're bisexual, if you're transgender, if you come from a family of two moms, if you're tall, if you're short, if you're fat, if you wear glasses, if you like whatever, things that nobody else likes, you are okay just the way you are.